Three years into the Iraq War and the U.S. Army was facing the most challenging recruiting environment of the past 25 years. At dinner tables all across America, mothers and fathers were actively discouraging their children from serving in the armed forces. It's the Army. I'm going to be part of something that's important. Parents were terrified by the thought of their sons and daughters being placed in harm's way by a conflict that many saw as unnecessary and seemingly without end. This year had created a major obstacle in the upper and mid funnel for the Army, one that was reducing the potential pool of recruits by as much as 20%. MRM's solution? Turn the Army's biggest obstacle into their most valuable asset. Transform a taboo subject, deployment, into a meaningful dialogue. Get parents talking, emailing, and blogging with other parents. Connect prospects to other prospects, and families with recruiters. In other words, influence the influencers. The centerpiece of the Family Strong campaign was a hub on GoArmy.com, which featured the real-life stories of families who made the decision to enlist as a family and the rationale behind their decision. This effort was supported in turn by a mix of traditional and digital initiatives designed to help prospects initiate conversations about the Army with their parents. Personally, I didn't really want her to go. You know, I was a little, a little nervous about it. One of the most innovative efforts was Straight From Iraq, a series of exclusive webcasts that enabled prospective recruits and their parents to solicit unmoderated feedback and opinions directly from real soldiers deployed in the Middle East, rather than from recruiters and marketing collateral. It marked the first time that civilians were being given unfettered access to soldiers in theater during an ongoing military conflict. What are the best and worst experiences you've had? Well, to be honest... The response was overwhelming. The favorability rating of the Army by parents more than doubled. Average user sessions on GoArmy.com increased by 45%, with a corresponding lift in live leads who opted to engage a recruiter in a discussion about enlistment. Prospect to soldier lead time decreased by 25%. The end result? MRM didn't just make the Army's mission of 80,000 recruits. We exceeded it by 2,000 and have continued to exceed it every year since. Now that's something worth talking about.